Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This video has been prompted by a viewer who ha was having problems binding their FreeSky receivers to the multi-protocol module in their radio. Now, this I've been asked this question quite a few times and this viewer asked if I can make a video for it for them. So I will. Here we go. Here's the video. Now, the, there is one major thing. You can only bind ACCST uh, uh, protocol receivers to the multi-protocol module. The newer access ones you can't. So let's switch over to my TX16S and we'll have a look at these different protocols. Now let's take a look at the protocols on the radio. We're going to hit the model key and we're in our first page of our model setup. Scroll up once and then you can see our internal module is off. Let's turn it on. Uh, we're going to go across here. Let's go down. And the first one we're going to come across is the FreeSky RX Multi. Now this allows us to put another multi-protocol module in the JR bay and then use this for communicating with another radio so that we can do the buddy box system. I've never tried this because I don't have an external multi-protocol module to plug into my radio. Let's move on to the next protocol. That is the FreeSky X. This is the first protocol they had for which was D16 and D8, etc. So there we've got option of D16, D8, we can do D D16 8 channel and we can do the old V protocol. I've got still got some of those receivers. And there is the listen before transmit. That's the EU version. And we've got the LBT 8 channel. So and then we've got cloned. Doing this allows the multi protocol module to communicate with any receiver which was bound to the original radio without having to rebind the receivers. And I've actually, I've never used that uh, feature. Now that will be everything. Let's click there. We're going to go back and we're going to go to FreeSky X2. Now version two is the uh, modification they did to the firmware because I think they said there was uh, jittering on the, on the servos, if I remember correctly. But you're going to come across all the same protocols that you had with the X2. One, the X version. Now let's go on to the next one. Now FreeSky L, this protocol is used with the FreeSky L9R receivers. So in summary, you can only use ACCST protocol FreeSky receivers with your multi-protocol module. You cannot use the FreeSky access ones. You also would then have to choose which version you're going to use, which is X or X2. That depends on what firmware is on your receiver. And then you need to pick which region you're in. So we're in, in the States and in South Africa, it's FCC is, is the ones we use. And if you're in Europe, it will be the EU version, the uh, listen before talk versions. So that is it. So if, so if you're having problems, just try each one. Try the X or the X2 and see which one, eventually, yeah, which one actually binds to your receiver. And there we go. You can see it can be quite daunting for new people to our hobby to try and bind the FreeSky receivers to the Multi Protocol module because there are so many different variations of it. Well, I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.